The Executive Director of the African Development Bank responsible for Gambia, Sierra Leone, Ghana and Sudan, Rufus N. Dakote, pays a two-day visit to the Gambia through the Ministry of Finance and Economic Development. Uh, <clears throat> I'm very excited to be here today. Uh, Gambia is a very great country. This is my fourth time here. The main objective of his visit is to discuss matters pertaining to the bank's engagement with the Republic of the Gambia. Occasionally, we visit our constituency member countries to assess progress in those countries. During his engagement with stakeholders, including project coordinators and directors, actors from different sectors that the bank supports. He said that the bank approves a lot of projects for countries and it is in their interest that these projects are inclusive. With multiple shocks of flood, I mean, climate change, um, fiscal pressure, macroeconomic issues, um, debt rising, unemployment, all of those things. But in the mix of that, the country is still resilient growth. The bank has committed itself to public sector infrastructure projects in agriculture, industry, water and sanitation, energy, transport, governance and social sectors in the form of loans and grants. Highlighting some of the projects carried out by various ministries and agencies, project stakeholders had this to say. The bank has been a traditional financier of uh, three of the series of report development projects. We are now engaging in the fourth. Um, we have the contractor mobilized already. Uh, we have started receiving materials for the contract and we are expecting that installation of works will start around first week of June. Another ADV project that we are working as far as Bank is concerned is the my project is dealing with water and sanitation infrastructure as well as promoting hygiene and education. Our president, President Adeshina, always say water is life. African Development Bank and African Development Fund executing agencies for the Global Environment Facility on May 16, 2023 signed a grant agreement of $8.9 million with the government of the Gambia for additional financing of the Climate Smart Rural Wash Development Project. But why is this important for the bank? We, you know, it's just essential for people to live. So if we can help countries individuals to overcome the challenges of not having safe drinking water, um, I think we would have achieved so much. And that's why I'm happy when I visited the project when I was in Gambia. It, it was a very impressive solar-driven uh, project that borehole that pumps water directly into homes. It was innovative and I really love that. Um, but overall, is I think is a great project to provide safe drinking water for for people. We were able to provide 108. It's a multi-donor funded project. The 108 is clustering communities together so that we'll be able to have the... Highlighting some of the challenges within their portfolios, project directors mentioned among other challenges, bureaucracy leading to delays in review of documentation. I think what we tend to have delays mostly is getting the no objection approval vis-a-vis -vis in the recruitment of uh, consultants. Our main challenge is that when the project was formulated, we were expecting to have from six donors. It is a multi-donor funded project. In response, Rufus N. Dakote said he will raise the concerns with the relevant departments within the bank. So uh, we will lift these issues up with the relevant departments in the bank and uh, will review the, the portfolio uh, with the country, the country team and, 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 and you know, give you some feedback on, on um, where things are. In his final remarks, he re-echoed the bank's commitment to supporting countries. The bank remains committed to supporting Gambia Gambia is a critical member of the bank.